are leaving uh, St. Lucia. It's about uh, um, uh, 11.30. We just got a little park up in here for the outboard motor for the little thing. And we are on our way to Marigot. We're going to go through a narrow passage right here. And uh, we have the Jeep. So we're doing, uh, the wind is pretty strong right now, about 17, 19. And uh, we just the Jeep alone, we're doing about 4.8. Gotta get through here this shallow part. All the nice green areas with the hills and the little mountains. We're approaching uh, Marigold Bay and it looks very pretty area. From uh, Rodney Bay only took us uh, maybe an hour and a half. Close to two hours. Really nice sail. Uh, it was cloudy and the uh, drizzle a little bit coming down, but uh, that's what it is for today. Nevertheless, it's nice and uh, not very warm and nice and okay. And, uh, it's right, right there. I think. We're getting into the bay and uh, we're getting really close to the entrance. The wind is getting... I take the sail in pretty soon. As soon as I get a little bit inside, and then I'm going to start the motor. We're going to try to find a good anchorage area. It seems a very pretty place. And then we can explore all the area around. On the other side, there's a beautiful beach. So, we can't wait to go for swimming. As we getting close to the entrance, I can feel the wind subsides a little bit. And here it is, Marigold Bay. Nice little place. They told us they have a lot of resorts here, and it's a very expensive area. At least the anchorage is free. So we're going to try to find a spot there in uh, the end of the bay. It's not really big. There's, I don't know, there's about three, three, two sailboats and one catamaran. But it looks beautiful. Marigold Bay, San Lucia. The weather improved a little bit. There's some dark clouds that I hope is not going to rain in. Little tropical paradise. Finally, we anchored in uh, Marigot Bay. It's a really uh, small bay. On this side, we can anchor. On the other side, you can uh, get a mooring ball. But they wanted 80 EC a day for a mooring ball. That's like $40 Canadian for a mooring ball. So that's pretty steep. Anyways, we anchored here and uh, it's about 10 feet of water. We're kind of close to the shore to my liking, but uh, it's it's protected area. And then the anchor is holding pretty good, so I think we should be okay. Somebody's collecting snails here across. And everything is beautiful and green. There's a little marina down there. So we'll go check it out. I don't know if they have stores, but we definitely need water. Water is very valuable commodity here. We're always looking for it.
Marigold is a really small place. So we got to we got out from the dinghy dock. The dinghy dock is right over there. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, there's a small dinghy dock area, and you can go straight to the. There it is. There's our dinghy, and you go right to the restaurants or the resorts. They offer a pretty fancy menu. Taste of India. And they have a Friday night uh, party. So we're going to take a little stroll. It seems really small village, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to take a little stroll up there. It's a nice day. What time is it right now? It's a just wa walking around the village from the dinghy dock there's a lot of fishing boats and the supermarket and unfortunately it's closed although it says now open but it's closed i love the beautiful colors on the fishing boats My go supermarket. Man, the gardens is full of green stuff. Green, green everywhere. It's a very small place and it's like a maze. Just to go around. Wow, look at this majestic tree. And this banana trees. We're on a little path going through the village, but it's a small place. We're on a little path by the, the water. Green everywhere. And coconuts. Make sure no coconuts fall on our heads, Pam. And look at this. Look at these guys, these holes right here, you see? They're all crabs. All these holes right there. Sometimes you can see huge crabs in there. Okay. So that's it, that was the end of the road. My gosh, look at these holes. Big, huge crabs. Yeah. We're getting uphill slowly to the village. It's a very steep uphill. No On a muggy hot day. But it's a good exercise. It just is so beautiful. And so like forest, tropical forest. Big trees. It's just like a hole in the mountain here. The harbor, you can see, is really pretty. So slowly we're making it uphill to the village. And maybe we can find a mango tree along the way. And we still have way more to climb. At least the way back is going to be downhill. Oh my God, look at the other side. It's 
It's so steep, even cars they having a hard time getting up there. Today definitely probably we're gonna lose a couple pounds. I don't know, is this swimming pool? I can see something here. Yeah, I can see swimming pool. I guess it's part of the resort. It must be, yeah. Yeah. There's in there. We're still climbing up vertical mountain. At least it's nice breeze from the sea. And it's five o'clock in the afternoon, so it makes it a little easier. Little by little, we're gonna get there. Oh yeah, the breeze is really nice right now. And here's a mango tree up there. And uh, we stopped and we're going to eat a mango right there. Nice, sweet mango to give us some strength to go uphill. There it is. The mangoes are like Christmas bells hanging from the tree. We still have to go way up yet. Look at the other mango tree up there. Yeah. Finally to the top of the village. Thank God. Now we can go. It's still a bit a little bit uphill, but it's not bad. And I can't believe it's so green. You can't even walk down there. So green. We just stopped. We had a mango, fresh from the tree. And uh, we keep going. We want to see what is this village about, but I don't think it's a big village. Just a small. And here's the view from the top. And there's down there is Mitzvah. Wow, it's like landing in a paradise. What an amazing view. Sunset is going to be the greatest. What an amazing scenery. This is a little coffee shop that is closed. Another mango tree there across, full of mangoes. And here we are. I see the houses, they're up on the stills because of the rainfall. And down there are the bay. Mary God Bay. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's like I want to stay here for a month or two. By Solution, we are leaving Marigot Bay. Lovely, small, but lovely bay. We are heading out.